Well, hello there guys. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you inside my family closet. We've been doing this for so long now that I forgot that it wasn't normal and that not everybody does this. Recently, we did a loft in my daughter's closet and I got a question of, hey, Ariana, where are her clothes now? And I was like, what are you talking about? That closet's always been empty. There's never been anything in it. And then the light bulb went off and I realized that having all of our kids clothes in our family closet is not a normal thing. So I'm gonna talk about that today, why we do it, how it works for us, how we have things set up. Um, so all of our kids clothes and our clothes are all in this closet right here. It's our master bedroom closet with the exception of our youngest. She has like her dresser, which is really just filled with like clothes for when she's older. She only has one drawer in that dresser that is her current clothes. When she moves into her own room, that dresser will be going in there to store her next size up clothing and diapers and stuff and then her clothes will be going into a drawer in here which I will show you that and talk about it in a minute. So one of the main reasons we started doing this is because our two girls are the same size and they have been for quite a while and so they share clothes and if we had clothes in one room if one was napping and we needed to change one or for whatever reason we didn't have access to the clothes for both of them. So we moved all of their clothes into our closet so that they could always be accessible to whoever would need them at that point. And I'm not planning on ever looking back for quite some time until they're at an age where they should have their own clothes in their own room um, and their own changing space. So for now, we just keep them all in here. It makes putting laundry away super easy. Um, and you will see that we are a no folding clothes family when it comes to our kids clothes as well. So I'll talk through that. Let's just go to my closet and I'm gonna show you guys how everything is set up. So you walk through our bathroom, which is right here, into our master bedroom closet. And so we all share this. This side is all of our kids' clothes. This side belongs to my husband and I. My husband is on the right side here. All of his shirts and sweaters and stuff get hung up. Our tops, none of our tops get folded or put into any drawers. Over here first, when you walk in, we have my husband and I's little area, I guess you could say. I have my jewelry box, my few nail polishes that I own. This is an essential oil perfume that I actually just made recently, a little Young Living party, so that was fun. And I have this, which I got from a little downtown shop, and I have this Gilly Hicks perfume, which is like my one mainstream perfume that I have. And then we have our deodorants. That's my husband's from Public Goods, and this is mine from Native. So moving here, this is where we keep our kids extras. We have two of their like safety items. So the girls each have an extra Hoot and Fox and extra little blankies for Airy. And then we have one extra of the bassinet sheet that is in there for my youngest Rensley. And so this box right here is all just cords and stuff for my husband that he uses for electronic stuff. He is an IT developer. That's why this is here. Probably should have mentioned that. Um, this is what we call his office now, I guess. It's a closet office. He works from home one day a week and that's why there's this stool right here so he works in here when he works from home and then we have some wedding photos here here is actually my clutch from my cause box and you guys will remember that and then we have a few regularly read books here bibles and just books that we've read kind of multiple times more wedding memorabilia this right here is like my art box all my like prisma colors and stuff like that are in here for when i'm going to draw or color or design things or whatever we actually need to put these in our hall closet there are guest set we have this and one extra um, for our guest towels and then we have like a few extra pillowcases these are the extra covers for our daca tots and we have one extra fitted sheet for our bed and then this is my side of the closet and this is fall stuff right here and then this is like my summer Kind of stuff and then i have some dresses here and some scarves there down here is an excess box we have like our hair cutting stuff because we cut our girl's hair and my husband cuts his hair i cut my own hair so all that's in there extra bins that's the cord for the computer and then in that back corner we keep our luggage okay so now i'm getting to what you guys care about <laughs> and that is this right here so like i said our kids is all over here me and my husband's is here i'm not gonna go into like grave detail about this these are like my undergarments these are his undergarments this is my pants drawer and my socks and shorts and then this is dress socks his extra socks that he hasn't worn yet they're brand new um and then his like pants drawer okay so in this top left drawer for the girls we have underwear socks and then dance stuff um, our girls are in dance while well, early starts up in June. And so this is where we keep like their tights and their leotards for dance class. And they have a size smaller in there that they don't fit anymore, but we'll keep those in case 
Ren wants to dance. Then this is the pajama drawer, which you will see isn't like really folded. This is, we do not fold our kids' clothes and let me tell you why. I am fully in support of letting your kids choose what they want to wear. On most days, our kids do come in and pick out what they want to wear. And because of that, it gets messed up. If you've ever made your kids' drawers and let them pick out their own clothes, then you know they don't stay folded. So we just don't bother from the very beginning. It lets them come in here freely, pick what they want, um, and we just don't get stressed out about it because we know we purposely don't fold stuff. And then and this is all of their summer stuff, which I just moved over. Like I said, again, we don't fold. It's not gonna look pretty and it never will, but our girls know what the stuff is. They know what print to look for and they will grab it. They know that when they pick a dress, they need to find shorts and they never have an issue. They are just able to do it and they've learned over time. Um, so yeah, we don't, we don't do anything fancy here. And then this bottom drawer is because we are currently in like transition period with weather. So we still have their fall clothes down here in the meantime. I am going to go through this this week and just leave like a couple pieces out because we're looking to be like full 70s plus now here in North Carolina. I have their special dresses here though for 4th of July and Easter that they don't wear. So those are down there. And then all of our swim stuff is kept down here though. So my husband's swim trunks there um, and my swimsuits down under there as well but what will happen when Rensley moves into her own room and Revelyn and Early start sharing is the girls clothes will get moved down and we will put Ren's clothes in here or I'm thinking of moving their pajamas down here and putting Ren's clothes in here because she honestly doesn't need any more space than this for her clothes we'll figure out the exacts of that though later on when Rensley moves to her own room that is really everything though um, as you can see me and Ryan even don't have we don't have capsule wardrobes but we definitely have minimal wardrobes wardrobes I would say. We are slowly moving over all of our clothes to ethically made clothing um, as things get used more so that's kind of what we're doing as well and then I'm in the middle of losing weight as well so <laughs> things are shifting and changing. This right here is where I put all of my used hangers so you can get an idea this is what's currently in the dryer tops wise. I'm pretty sure it's all my 10 tree shirts because I wear those mostly <laughs> um, and like I said like right now I'm not wearing really any of this because this is all fall stuff. Here in North Carolina in the summer we get random cold days and in the winter we get random hot days so we always have clothing out year-round here. Um, not like a full wardrobe by any means for our kids at least. For me I don't have a lot so I just leave it out all year round but for our kids I leave a couple pieces out just in case. Um, that's actually one thing I love about North Carolina is during the day it'll be really hot but at night it drops by like 15 to 20 degrees so you can really enjoy the evenings as it cools off um, and have like bonfires and stuff like that so we really like it but that does mean that you do need to have like something warmer available and especially in this transition period where like one day it'll be 80 degrees and the next day it's like 68 and so at night it's in like the 40s you need to have options <laughs> but again here's a little overview of everything that you can see. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about our family closet system, of course, leave them down in the comments below and I will do my best to respond to you. Like I said, this is just now when our kids are young, when they get to an age where they need an appropriate space to change on their own. Of course, we will be doing that, but for right now, this is easy and works great for our family. So this is just for now while they're still young and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe got some ideas for your own family that will make things just a little bit easier. And that's really what it is about is for us it just makes things super easy it makes laundry easy it makes getting dressed in the morning easy so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did hit that like button and i will see all of your wonderful faces on thursday bye